Have you upgraded to Windows 11? Apps are crashing, PC seems unresponsive at times, or the PC feels slow in general. And now you hate Windows 11. Don't worry, I'll show you how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming. Uh, but make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and drop a like as well. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video now. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is just hit Windows R and type percent temp percent. It will open up the temp folder. These are all the temporary files that you don't really need. So you can just hit Ctrl A and Shift Delete permanently delete all these items and just skip the ones that cannot be deleted. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. Uh, I don't know. Just my throat is aching badly. And yeah, obviously this time type refetch, and you can see 441 items are there. Control A and Shift Delete, and skip the items that cannot be deleted. Now just uh, go to the search bar and type disk, and you will see this cleanup. So yeah, open this cleanup, and select the drive you want to clean up. Like if you have D drive, there's nothing in it so yeah let's clean up the C drive instead after collecting a bit of data it will show you everything that is there that can be deleted so obviously just make sure to check all these boxes because these are pretty much useless but obviously you can just choose what you want to delete so just have a brief look that what it is and the description as well so just select all the boxes and just hit ok and it will clean up or make I can say just it will delete all this it can take up some time so yeah just wait for it to complete now just go to your PC right click and hit properties and you will see advanced system settings just click advanced system settings and just hit settings and the performance tab and under visual effects you will see customer selected but by default it is let windows choose what's best for my computer so by default that option is selected but what you have to do is select the one on the third number that is adjust for best performance hit apply and ok and ok one more thing uh, besides the visual effects tab you can see there is advanced tab as well so go to advanced and click change under virtual memory uncheck this box and since my C drive is SSD I'm not gonna touch it instead I will click on the D drive that is a hard drive and click custom size and put her around 4 GBs as my virtual memory so as you know 1024 MB is 1 GB so 4 GB means 1024 into 4 that is 4096 just put here 4096 in maximum and minimum values click set hit ok and it will prompt you to restart so yeah you can restart it later on but obviously do not put more than 4 or 8 GB because it's gonna eat up space in your hard drive so yeah just hit ok and restart later Okay, now go to the search bar and type power and you will see choose a power plan. Now show additional plans and here you can select ultimate performance. In case you do not have this option of ultimate performance, you can just go ahead and watch the video on the top right corner that is popping up right now or the link is in the description as well. For those who do not have this power plan, they can create one by watching the video. So yeah, just select ultimate performance power plan and just close it. Now the next thing is just right click, show more options and go to display settings. Scroll down until you find graphics. And obviously you can just hit browse and add any app or game that you want. But I have added most of the games so yeah, just click on the game once added hit options and select high performance it might be power saving in most cases so just make sure it is not power saving and high performance instead now uh, the next thing is updating your GPU you can just go ahead to your web browser and 
download the updates for your NVIDIA or AMD graphic card, but do not use Device Manager to update your graphics because it is pretty much useless. As you can see, just clicking on when I click on update, it says it is already up to date, which is not true most of the times. So yeah, just go to the website of NVIDIA or AMD, or what you can do is if you have NVIDIA, make sure to download GeForce Experience because it can help you optimize games. Plus, uh, it also tells you whenever there is an update and you can download GPU updates right from the GeForce Experience app. And if you have Intel HD, don't worry, I will tell you what to do in the end of the video. Okay, so uh, the next thing is the startup apps. So just right click the start button and click on task manager. Go to the startup tab and these are all the apps that start with your PC. Yeah. When your PC boots, these are all the apps that start with it. And because of these apps, the boot up can take a bit. Then your PC feels a bit slow when it boots up. So you can go ahead and disable the ones that you don't really need. Steam was enabled for me by default and in most cases it is enabled. So just go ahead and disable it. Same was with Spotify. So yeah, it's just disable it. And disable all the ones that you don't really need. The other way of doing this is just go to the start click settings and search for apps and you can see all the startup apps here you can just turn them on or off here as well now the next thing is defragging your drives you go to the search bar and type defrag and disk optimizer will open up and the other way of doing it is just go to this PC, right click your hard drive, not the solid state drive, there is an SSD. So right click your hard drive, click show more options. And properties, and tools, you will see disk optimize as you can see. Yeah, just hit optimize. And it is the same thing exactly. Open it whichever way you want, so just leave the SSD as it is. And just hit optimize on your hard drive it can take a bit but obviously you do not have to wait forever you can wait for pass one to complete or if it's if it takes a lot it too long you can just leave it and obviously under scheduled optimization you can choose weekly once it is done you can just go ahead and close it but that's not it just wait if you don't have nvidia or amd gpu watch this video on the right or if you want to downgrade to windows 10 that is go back to windows 10 without losing any data then the video will be on the left when i upload it well that being said that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video